But no sound, no? Alright, there you go. Alright. Yeah, it's fine. It's when it's flashing. Alright. Yeah, so we're just waiting for the teams to come out now. Photographers and stuff are down there, so hopefully the teams will be coming out in the next minute or so. The atmosphere starts to build here a bit. Seems to be a bit, bit of a lag in the time anyway, that's probably what you were hearing now sound. I said, crowd still starting to come in here. Helper man looking to build a crowd there. Mm. There's, an, there's an Israeli one there anyway. <laughs> Few. So I said it's a moment we've been waiting on our first competitive European game here at Salah. Obviously we had a big game last year against uh, Real Madrid. Attracted a good friendly games that aren't the same. So it's good to see, finally see competitive football at Tallah Stadium. Competitive European football, of course, that is. So the team's uh, just shaking hands, as is custom in European toys. And uh, Tallah Stadium is in fine voice. No problem. That was it. So it's a, it's a few photographs being taken before that. They went to the toss. And uh, Dan Murray, the captain, swapping uh, pennants with the uh, the captain of uh, Na Yehuda, which is, uh, if I can make out his number, it's Asi Baldut. So, uh, referee just going to make his way to the halfway line now as the Rovers team go into a huddle. Pretty much. So we're uh, quite a quite a tall looking side, you know you heard it. It's uh, not like a height. They don't look like the most fit neither they're tall, but they don't look the most physical side in the world. So uh, hopefully Rovers fitness here tonight will uh, will give us that little uh, that little edge that we need. Orange baskets. <laughs> So uh, we're just getting ready to go now. So uh, 
I think we're just waiting for the signal from the fourth official here before we kick off. And it's going to be Rovers tipping off, uh, playing into the car park end of the stadium here. And referee blows his whistle and we're off with Stephen Rice. As the, the ball cleared down, it comes to Craig Sifaz, who can just knock it in here to Chris Turner. Chris Turner to Stephen Rice, under a bit of pressure, can just lay it, lay it across to uh, Ellis Stevens. But uh, Rice is caught as he played the ball off there by, um, by Zari, and uh, it's going to be a free out to Rovers. So it's going to be uh, Aiden Price to knock the ball forward down towards Gary Twig. It'll uh, just come through here to the right back whose clearance comes into midfield. And Aiden under pressure there and the ball's just cleared forward towards his early. But it comes to, uh, comes to Dan Murray here who can just knock it out to Craig Sivez. And Craig Sivez plays the ball down the line for James Chambers. Faced by a dearly. Plays the ball into Stewart but Stewart's control lets him down. And a dive there by the number eight, but the referee saw it as a free kick. A, I don't know if Baldot was caught there, but the free kick is taken quickly. And it switches the play. It comes in here to uh, Arasco in midfield. He can just knock it back here. To, uh, and it comes across to, uh, to Ediri. Ediri with a bit of space in front of him. Looks up and pays it out to, to Manashi. Manashi's pass just comes into the poor car, comes up to Turner midfield. But a uh, ball over the top, uh, Twig had straight offside, but he didn't make the run, and uh, Stewart tried to get onto it as the ball switched straight across to the right-hand side, and Patrick Cavanagh something across to get back in, but it just comes in to Sinisa Heresco in midfield, who switches it out here again to it there. There's first touch is good, it's faced by James Chambers. Comes in to midfield to, uh, to Baldut, who switches the play again, and it's back in here with Sinisa Heresco. But uh, good pressure from Rovers, forcing them backwards. And under pressure from Gary Twig, the ball's put out of play. Just for the Rovers throw there, just on the halfway line. So it's going to be throw into Rovers, but um, this uh, side, Yehuda, look very good on the ball. So they knock the ball about, and then Rovers, when they get on the ball, they're going to have to keep it. But it's a chance here now with... Uh, there's uh, Paddy Cavanaugh on the run. No, it was actually Thomas Stewart, but he was taken down. So it's going to be a free kick to Rovers, about 35 yards out from goal. Uh, just to the left in front of the East stands. And it's going to be James Chambers to play this ball in. So it's that it's James Chambers with the free kick towards the back post, towards Gary Twig. It's just knocked out here by the... And it'll go for a throw into Rovers, which Gary Twig... Will Gary Twig, I think it's going to leave... No, he's going to leave for Stephen Rice. Oh, but it's uh, actually... Yeah, Stephen going to leave for Stephen Rice to put the long throw into the box. So first chance for Rovers maybe to get a, a decent bit of ball into the box. And Rice with the long throw, right into the box. Keeper comes to collect and misses it. But it just comes to uh, Arasco who can clear along. Aiden Price with the header out towards Craig Sivez. Sivez just knocks it back in, but it's straight to a Benel Yehuda player. Whose ball comes straight to Aiden Price, who looks to play it out to Craig Sivez. But too much meat on the header, and it's gone out for a throw into Benel Yehuda just on the halfway line. And it... So neat little one two to with a and it comes in here to ball played across but it's just gonna come to to end of Stevens whose pass is picked out and oh the ball was played through there for uh, it was for Zari but it was overhit and it just went through to Manus. But a uh, little bit of a let off there for Rovers with a 
Thomas George pass getting intercepted. But Manus's clearance is long towards Thomas Stewart, beaten in the air. And it comes to uh, Sinisa Haratsko, who can just knock it out here to Zardi. And the ball over the top again. It's won by Sives. And the chance here, Aiden Price can just knock it out to James Chambers. But they're making it difficult themselves there. But uh, still ahead by uh, James Chambers just to cushion the header back to uh, Alan Manus. Maybe we always need to kind of, as I said, try to calm down, try to keep the ball. Everything seems a little rushed. Zeves plays the ball down the line for Chambers. His first touch is good and he's strong. Comes away. He's going to look for the run. Under pressure now. Goes back to Aiden Price who just chests it down for uh, Dan Murray. Dan Murray fades to play the ball and comes inside. Bit of space in midfield now. Needs an option. Goes back to Aiden Price who plays an angled ball for Thomas Stewart to run onto. But uh, just comes off the surface and it's going to run out for a goal kick to, uh, to Manaya Huda. Sorry, you seem to be having a... Oh, I, I have that stopped to see if they'll make the broadcast. Ah, uh, okay. Do you just turn on the sound every now and again to see if you can still hear Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. probably the best. So, we're going to restart with a goal kick to Benaya Huda. I don't think there's any sound, is there? Oh, shit, that was a fun thing. Oh, fuck, support. They're in Israel, you rat. So, uh, Rice beating in the air, and uh, it's come to <laughs> so it's uh, just a throw in here to Rovers. Comes straight across to Dan Murray under a little bit of pressure. Goes long, that's a great ball for James Chambers. And his first touch is taken up by the Benio defender. And he plays an excellent ball. Oh, which the keeper has to come and collect. But Rovers put an excellent ball and he's uh, comes to Stephen Rice in midfield. Chambers flicks it on but twigs in an offside position. He nev never got a call. As Chris Turner comes and wins the header, comes to Stephen Rice, who can lay it off to Stevens. Stevens comes back in here to uh, Aiden Price. And uh, goes back to Alan Manis who will clear long but he's and he basically hooked his clearance but and Chambers managed to keep it in and Gary Twig just leaves for the Benaya Hood defender to come in and knock it out for the throw in which Craig Sivez will take so uh, Craig Sivez to James Chambers but it's uh, Baldut gets a foot in but his clearance only comes to uh, to Chris Turner who is fouled by Baldut and it's going to be a free into Rovers halfway inside our hole <laughs> inside the front <laughs> but uh, there's absolutely no one in the Rovers half at the moment by Alan Manis uh, Rovers looking to put a decent ball into the box You get better smack at Richmond as well. As uh, Ender Stevens plays an angle ball in. And the header down towards the keeper, and Gary Twig looked again on the end of it. It's a great ball in by Ender Stevens. Uh, Stewart run the header. But uh, as Gary Twig was just about to put his foot to it, the keeper came and collected. So, Rovers starting to get back into this game after a bright start by Naya Huda. But uh, it's them on the attack again with um, Shanisha Haratsko. Good pressure by Rovers, forcing them backwards, and it's going to come all the way back here again to the centre half. And uh, comes out here to Adiri, who goes inside again to Tarasco, uh, who switches the play. So, more good build up by Benayahuda without really getting in behind the Rovers team. And once again, they go backwards to the centre half, who switches it over here to. Um, to Adiri, but a little ball inside, looks for the ball over the top. Stephen Rice, will, oh, way header by Stephen Rice, just to knock it back to uh, Alan Manis. So, Manis's long ball is 
one there and just knock back for a dairy who goes long and won by Dan Murray who knocks it to oh it was a good idea by Chris Turner I don't think Chambers thought he was going to get on that ball but he, oh and it's like oh no and nearly a terrible mistake there by Ian Hooper as the, he could be and Rovers are on the attack here again with uh, Ender Stevens coming down the line and uh, Baldo can just knock it out for a throw in so Rovers really starting to get a foothold in this game and once again a chance for uh, Stephen Rice to uh, what a, a very dodgy moment there for the Ayanugba in the Benaya Huda goal so it's going to be Stephen Rice once again to put this long throw into the box and the keeper comes and a good call collected ahead of uh, Azos do his confidence a little bit of good after his uh, sleep a couple of seconds ago and his clearance is it's a good one but Dan Murray wins the header drops into to uh, Ratsko in midfield he knocks it out to uh, Derry and uh, Derry will go goes back to Haddad and once again goes to Garrido so it looks in the midfield to uh, Baldur but Stephen Rice wins and if another foul on Chris Turner and it's going to be a free kick to Rovers just in just in the centre circle basically yeah. so it's going to be Ender Stevens again to put the the angle ball towards the back post where Craig Sivas and uh, and a uh, old keeper comes and gets it at the second attempt is that working or what's it doing so uh, Chambers wins and uh, well won in by midfield for uh, Craig Sivas who plays an angle ball for Paddy Cowan which the keeper has to deal with and he can only knock it out for a corner and it's going to be a corner to Shamrock Rovers Rovers really have been eye on the back foot and uh, more good pressure good chance to put the ball in and over this keeper who's shown that he's uh, not the most capable of keepers so it's going to be James Chambers to go across and uh, take it and Paddy Cavanagh runs to make the short takes the one of the centre halves out and a decent ball in keeper comes gets a good fist on it but it will only come out here as far as uh, for a throw in for overs which Stephen Rice will take so uh, Stephen Rice long ball in won by Sivez but it just comes to the edge of the box and it's chance for Benaya Huda to break here the ball played wide, faced by Ender Stevens, cuts inside. Good pressure into the feet, and the chance here now. Oh, and a great tackle, and Craig Sivez is able to clear. Great work at the back there by Ender Stevens. But uh, once again, Benaya Huda looking clever on the break. Oh, no. So we're back in play here with Benayuda just knocking the ball across the box there. Sorry, across the centre circle. And it's with uh, going with content to try to build things slowly. And uh, the little flick there by uh, there he kind of goes out of play for a throw into Rovers. So, ball played forward, one in the air, and there's a clash of heads there. And I think the referee is going to stop the play as there's a player from each team down. So, well, it looks like there's going to be a little bit of treatment for both players. So, just going to 
chance maybe to reflect on the, the opening minutes of the game, which has been on the start of the box, the game very well, kept possession very well, looked to get on the break early, the Rovers since then have uh, got back into the game, so won a couple of set pieces in dangerous areas, fell throws into the box, a good ball in by Chambers, the keeper had to come elect, and then a couple of slips by the goalkeeper, which he let Rovers in, so uh, it's going to be stretcher out here now which doesn't look good both players still uh, on the backs of the Stephen Rice I think is the Rovers player who's got to his feet and the uh, Benoit out of field also still on his feet So, uh, the, the, sorry, sorry, but I can't actually hear who the player is, but he is actually going to have to be uh, stretchered off. And it looks as if the Nayahuda are going to be forced into a, an early substitution as the subs who weren't even out warming up make their way out of the tunnel now and start warming up. Yeah. So it's never a nice thing to see a uh, player getting stretched off the pitch. I think it was just a clash of heads. It might be just a concussion, and he's gone straight into the uh, straight in. Oh, is he going straight in for treatment? Now he's going to be treated down here. Referee not warmed up as dead. Doesn't look like there's no sign of anyone. Get oh, there is someone getting stripped now. Down. So we're back on here as the ball gets played to Yarulan who can just knock it back to uh, Garrido once again into midfield to uh, Heratsko. So a chance here now as they break down the left and the ball comes back and a little touch and Stephen Rice, oh sorry, a little took a little touch off Rice I think on the way in but Manus is able to go down and collect and uh, danger averted for hours. So it was actually um, Bitton who got injured, but he seems to be back on his feet now as Rovers lose possession in midfield. And it's uh, Manashi to bring the ball forward. Ball over the top towards Yavaran, but it's cut out by Dan Murray. It comes to Chambers, Chambers to Chris Turner, Turner into Twig. Twig just crawls it on his chest there. And a beautiful angle ball for Thomas Short. And Thomas Short is away here now. And he looks to play a ball in, but he can the hole! And it's just cleared. A beautiful angle ball by James Chambers put Stewart away. There was a number of Benoit who like he looked to play the ball across the on Russian Cavanaugh. But uh, one of the defenders got there before him and has just knocked it out for a throw into Shamrock Rovers. So once again, I oh know it's actually Craig Seves gonna take this. And it's a long ball in again, won by Dan Murray. Comes to the end of the box. It was slicked on by Dan Murray. It came to Paddy Cavanaugh on just around the penalty spot. But uh, he came to him with a lot of pace and forced him to, to kind of snap at it. Number 14, which has been hot, been replaced by number 18, So, yeah. So, it's bit on going off there and. Uh, Hafek have to coming on as Rovers on the break again now. Have to go straight in from a uh, ball back to the keeper. This clearance goes straight out for a throw into Rovers. Just halfway inside the Benayu to half. Yeah. So the ball comes in here to Chris Turner, who can just knock it across here to Craig Sivez in the right back position. Plays it out here to James Chambers and continues his run. Looks to play the ball down the line, but it's blocked down by the defender, and it's just going to go out for a throw in to Rovers. <laughs> so it's going to be Craig Sivest to take the throw in here. Needs a bit of movement, finds it from Chris Turner, whose touch 
touch off his chest is heavy but the ball back to uh, Adair he isn't great and he can only knock it out for a throw into Rovers once again in a very difficult position to defend and it's going to be uh, Alan and it's going to be Sivez to put the long ball into the box here and oh a really good ball in flicked on again by Dan Murray hesitation oh but there was a flag up for an offside there and it's going to be a free out to Benaya Huda What? Uh -huh. So it's going to be a free out here to be taken by Ayanogba. Gets good distance on it, but it's won by Craig Sivas, whose header finds James Chambers. Chambers under pressure plays the ball down the line for Thomas Stewart. Thomas Stewart looks to flick it inside um, the defender, but it, it's he got a good leg on it and it's come in for a throw into Rovers, which James Chambers will leave for Craig Sivas. 1 0 and uh, Fingal will up Glen Crow as the ball comes in here to Paddy Kavanagh. First touch is heavy, but he's done well. Knocks it to Sivez and then plays the ball in the line beautifully for Sivez. And delivery is good. Oh! And Thomas Stewart got in front of his man, but just couldn't direct his shot on goal. So more good work there by Rovers. Another opportunity. But uh, unfortunately, it only ends in a goal kick. So, Aidan Price's header gets flicked on by Twig. And uh, it's just knocked out for a throw into Rovers. So, uh, Rovers really, really getting their noses in front here. Creating all the chances, all the possession. As uh, the throws is taken to Stephen Rice. Rice back to Stephen. Stephen's on a little, little one too with Kavanagh. And he knocks the ball by the defender and he's impeded. Referee didn't see it that way, and the ball had just run out for a goal kick to Benaya Huda. But good little one-two uh, interplay there between uh, Stevens and Kavanagh. As uh, Stevens went to take the return, it looked as if he'd been impeded by the Benaya Huda defender, but referee didn't see it that way, and uh, Kavanagh's pass ended up just drifting out for a goal kick. As the rain starts to come down here in uh, Tala a lot heavier, Get a bit of a downpour as the goal kick comes towards Dan Murray who wins